Hello everyone, welcome back and in today's video we're going to be solving this problem from the build section of Pathfinder and this is question number 7. So do give this problem a try before you watch the video and comment down below if you got the answer correct or not. Also do like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And with that let's read the problem statement. So we have two identical wheels, uh, each of whose radius is R and they are harnessed by connecting their axles with a rigid rod and pivotally connecting midpoints of two parallel spokes with a bar. So these two spokes over here, they are parallel and their midpoints are connected by another rod. A box is placed on the bar and the assembly is made to move on a horizontal track with a gradually increasing speed, maintaining rolling without slipping. So the speed of these wheels, uh, they are increased gradually, so which, ba which basically means that the uh, horizontal acceleration is basically close to zero so, or we can neglect it. And it's given that uh, rolling without slipping is maintained. The coefficient of friction between the bar and the box is given to be mu. So we have to find the speed of the center of the wheels at which the box begins sliding with respect to the bar. So now let's look at an enlarged diagram of the situation. So what's happening is these two wheels over here, they are rolling without slipping. So let's say its angular velocity is some omega and the speed of its center is v. And it's going to be the same for both the wheels. So basically what they're saying is that uh, after some time, at some specific value of the speed, the block over here will start slipping relative to the rod. And we have to find that particular speed. So first and foremost, we need to understand something. Uh, the velocity at these of these two end points of the rod is the same, which basically means that this rod over here is undergoing a uh, translational motion. Okay. Basically, it's if let's say it's going to be like this, at this particular instant, after some time it will be something like this and after some time it will be something like this. So I hope you get the idea. This rod over here will always be horizontal. So now let's try to determine the acceleration of this rod. And now as it was given in the problem that the acceleration of the center uh, of the wheel is zero, then the only acceleration of this point, uh, basically the midpoint of the rim, let's call that point P. So it will have only one acceleration component and that is the centripetal component and its magnitude will be omega square times the distance from the center which is r by 2. And as omega is constant, uh, there will be no r alpha term, right? So, so basically what's happening is that the acceleration of this end is going to be omega square r by 2. Similarly, the acceleration at this end is also omega square r by 2. So now as we have determined the acceleration of this uh, horizontal rod, now we can draw an FBD of the rod plus the block system. Okay, so now let's just assume at this particular instant, the spokes are making an angle of theta with the horizontal. In that case, the horizontal rod over here has an acceleration of omega square r by 2, making an angle of theta with the horizontal. So now what we can do is like take the rod as a frame of reference and observe the block. In that case, we must uh, apply a pseudo force, which is whose magnitude is minus ma, which basically means that the pseudo force will have a magnitude of m omega square r by 2 making an angle of theta with the horizontal and the friction force will be opposite to it to prevent slipping and then there will be normal reaction and the weight of the object. So this is how the FBD of the block system of the block looks like. Now as we have to observe what's happening in the limiting condition, we know the friction force, this must be less than or equal to mu times the normal reaction, right? So from the FBD, we can say the friction force is equal to the horizontal component of this which m omega square r by 2 cos theta, right? The normal reaction. So the normal reaction would be equal to mg minus the vertical component of this. So that is going to be mg. So solving for this, we'll get the uh, relation that omega square must be less than or equal to this particular value. And omega, uh, due to pure rolling, we can write it as v square divided by r square. So from here, the condition, the final condition that we get is v square must be less than or equal to. So the let's say the spokes are at some angle theta over here. So at this particular theta, the speed of the wheel must be at least equal to this particular value for the block to slip. So that speed for the block to slip is clearly coming out as a function of theta, right? So let's say at some theta equal to alpha, the denominator achieves maximum value. That would be the condition at which the speed required for slipping will be minimum, right? Cos theta plus mu sine theta. So the minimum, uh, the maximum value for this expression uh, is simply going to be square root of 1 plus mu square. Uh, so I'm not going to go into uh, how did I get this, but basically you can prove this. So if you have an expression, uh, something like a cos theta plus b sine theta, so the maximum value of this expression is going to be square root of a square plus b square. So using this result, the v minimum 
that is a required answer comes out to be this particular value so i hope this question is clear to you guys and if you have any doubts you can comment down below so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching